Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got an uh, offensive scheme for you guys today. A running scheme uh, and some passing plays out of the Niners playbook. Uh, I put this out in a gameplay, I don't know, maybe like a week or so ago. Uh, I broke it down to gameplay back then because I actually think that these plays, they work better in gameplay based off of the fact that uh, the type of defenses you see online and the adjustments that your opponent makes are really what makes this scheme work. Uh, I'm in the single back ace. In that video, I might have gone over four plays, maybe less, maybe three or four that are like the main plays. But this particular formation actually has a ton of plays in it. Uh, so I'm going to be putting maybe like five or six into this version here uh, for my YouTube audience. And then I'll have a couple extra plays as always uh, for my patreon members and for my uh, join now community tab uh followers so if you guys want to get on that hit the like button or hit the join button or you know there all the links in the description below i'm going to start off like i said this is a running scheme first but i find myself using some of these passing plays quite a bit um, like i said i'll put a link in the description below if you mo if you didn't catch the gameplay i understand that a lot of people like to see these games these plays in action and i also understand that you can't use every play in a gameplay sometimes you only have to use like two or three so going through the audibles i'm going to put the o one trap that's probably the most important run play uh, at one of them the next one is probably the second most important run play and that's the halfback stretch those two get used uh, the most they have to they, they're they're 1a and 1b I mean they're 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 they are probably the two most important plays in this entire formation the third play would be the skinny post which is already there but we'll go ahead and we'll just uh, we'll show that so we got the skinny post here that's probably the predominant passing play it's very hard to stop and then on the last play uh, the last play is really where it gets tricky you can use any number of these plays uh, I would say the one that I use the most, I typically go with like the halfback zone because it's probably like the best remaining run play. And then the last play, I guess, I mean, there's two RPO plays that I'm going to show. The stretch alert looky and the other RPO would be the zone weak alert Z smoke. Uh, they both have very specific purposes. So those will probably be all the plays that I show, the six that I just mentioned. Although I can only put five. That's my biggest pet peeve with this particular series is you can only pick five plays. I wish I could pick like eight. Now, before I get into the video, as always, I just want to let you guys know that this video is brought to you by my coins sponsors at mmoxp.com if you guys need some coins to get your mud team up and i know me personally uh i mean i'm broke as a joke right now i'm trying to get the sean jackson but i have like literally like twenty thousand coins so i'm gonna have to hit them up myself so make sure to check them out link in the description below and use discount code money shot for five percent off your order other than that let's go and let's go into the reads that's probably the most important thing when it comes to running these five plays is your reads now typically uh like i said i'm always looking for these first two plays the 0-1 trap the halfback stretch if i see a gap like i have right there even though it's not directly over the center i know that i can hit this play and typically go to the side and make some yardage like that it's, it's a one cut play and like i said i don't know if i'm going to see a ton of great runs in practice mode which is why like i said i put it out in gameplay because, because typically the adjustments that people make is what makes this scheme so overpowered is they'll be pinching their line or shifting their line or they'll come out in nickel packages or they'll come out like there's so many ways to game it based off of the uh what your opponent's doing where the computer's just going to do you know the basic plain stuff that'll make adjustments so the halfback stretch will be the second play this is a good example right here it looks like we have our two high safeties anytime you have like a cover three safety in the box or something like that uh it's you know that's going to add an extra defender to defend against uh the stretch run especially but here where the, you can see the linebackers are kind of in tight this is a good opportunity just to hit them with a stretch run and go outside now you can see right there that was a horrible tackle attempt uh which you know you'll see because now the way that the uh you know these safeties play the run when it comes to stretch plays since the latest patch is actually pretty bad it's actually pretty stupid so here's another one i mean i could go any number of ways i could try to take this right up the middle here like i said this is typically going to be my approach i'm a much bigger fan of the 0-1 trap even though i'm not going to get a ton it's one of the most consistent runs in the game the stretch play might be the more consistent uh, i'm sorry the stretch play is probably the more explosive but the uh, the the o1 trap is definitely the most consistent so once again right side of the line here is pretty tight stacked this right here i can just go to the uh, to the open side it's really that simple it's a single cut it's a single single read cut every time so i mean i could run this all day but i'm going to try to force some of these other plays in here now this is a scenario i mean i definitely want to hit that stretch 
Uh, you can flick this right stick to either side, and it's one of the best things about this particular uh, formation uh, is you won't see any, uh, you know, the, even the quarterback doesn't move. So there's no tell if you want to flip this play, which is one of the things I really like. Same thing with switching to the L1 trap. No tell. Quarterback doesn't move, and it's all because there's an even formation. That's why there's no animation. So like I said, right here, I mean, this is definitely an opportunity for a stretch play, although there you can see it gets shut down. So, I mean, it's it's hit, it can be a little hit or miss, but for the most part, it's, it's pretty consistent. Like I said, check out the gameplay uh, I'll have in the description below to show you guys just how good it is and I've used this in multiple games now it's one of my go-to offenses I actually don't use this too much because I feel like uh, and I was talking to somebody about this I feel like it's kind of cheese it's kind of it's so hard to stop that I actually use it sparingly so on the next play here we have a single high safety anytime I have a single high safety it doesn't matter if it's man doesn't matter if it's zone the skinny post is going to destroy it uh, because if it's a man or a zone it really doesn't matter because this receiver's got inside leverage and he's going to beat that cornerback safety combo so anytime i have that now here this looks like it's more of like a because the the safeties and the cornerbacks are almost at the same level it almost looks like it's like a, a cover for drop so something like this you can see we have a similar look i mean it's it's one of the hardest stop plays in the game i think you really need to run i mean if i'm just going to run this a few times straight here uh, just to show you guys how you can consistently just just you know just dot this coverage whatever coverage it is with the exception of maybe cover for um maybe like a regular cover for drop or a cover for contain so like i said right here anytime i have a single high safety that's i'm going to steal that that was a uh, that wasn't even that that was an invert you can tell by the way that that play played out it looked more like a cover two invert but like i said it doesn't really matter what defense you're running at right here looks like something similar like i said it's just always there and that's one of the reasons I feel like this is really cheesy because you can't even use this play. You got the same route on both sides. So you can, you know, your user will try, but you can dot up the other receiver. If they drop back into one, you just hit the other one. It's that simple. So when it comes to running this play, a lot of times I'm just staring at where's the user because that's more of an issue than the coverages. So that's something that it really becomes a one-on-one -on -one battle of where the user goes compared to where I go. So another really good play out of this is the play that I'm already on, which is the smoke. Now, anytime that I see uh, an off, you know, an off cornerback, like this could easily be a man based off of the look. It could be like a man zero. I'm not really sure. But if the cornerback's playing off, a lot of times it's cover three, cover four. This is definitely probably not. Uh, but I'm going to throw it to the i'm probably gonna throw it to the b route anyway but like i said since i'm not 100 percent sure if it's a cover three or cover four i'm hitting the b route here like i said it's probably not it looks like a man you see how the cornerback walked forward so in that scenario i'm just watching that cornerback on that route and then you can see it's also a really good run so look at like i said go into the practice mode because like i said when i'm running this play i'm just staring at this guy there's nobody else on the field i mean i could just basically use the key in right on this dude right here he's going to dictate whether it's a uh, whether i throw it to the to the receiver or whether i you know i, I take a, a handoff because if he walks forward like he does here i'm not going to do that if he drops back which is typically what he does in a cover three or cover four i'm, I'm just throwing it right out to my uh, my smoke screen but if he walks forward like that i mean a lot of man coverages are way more aggressive and you could be throwing an interception or a pick six if you throw it at the wrong time so while this is a good run and you still have that passing option you can also just run the regular halfback zone week uh, and this will allow you to flip the play so the previous play you can't flip it you got to go in the direction that it has i mean you can flip the play by flipping the entire play uh, but if you want the freedom to just flip the play you can just flip it with the right stick and uh, go with this like here i definitely have a better opportunity to the right side because there's only three uh three guys compared to four in the other side you can see it just creates a giant lane right over the middle so that's a very good run play but it's definitely one of the lesser used in the formation for me although in the gameplay i'm pretty sure i did score like a 30 yard touchdown uh using it at the end of the video although like i said a lot of people don't make it to the end of the video but it's a very good run play and it has a has good cutback lanes i mean this is just the entire scheme you can see how you know running this all the time it's just really hard to stop so i'm going to end this video with the the px burks cross which like i said this is probably the second best passing play and it was also a play that i mentioned in the original video so i'm going to show that as well if you guys want to see the rest of these you have to check it out on my patreon on my join now uh community tab so let's go and let's pick the PA experts cross and then we'll just keep going random defense uh, once again we'll go random nickel so this play can be run two different ways I typically run the Y route on a streak and then put the A route on a drag this is just going to create multiple levels of passing uh, the running backs really only going to be good against zones but he's going to be good against all zones as you can see there's nothing really under there and I, I kind of ran out of bounds there but that's going to be an easy catch and run and a lot of times the tight end the A route on drag will turn into a blocker uh, which is going to be very handy now if it's a man coverage uh, you once again anytime you have a zone you're always going to have that running back so I'll take that anytime I read that there's not somebody immediately on that running back i'll take it 
So I'd like to hit some of these deeper routes as well. The streak there is really just meant to uh, to pull back uh, some routes. And then, like I said, the B route here is the deep route. If it's a man coverage, it's really between the, the tight end and the receiver at that point. So if it's a man, the A route's going to beat it, and the uh, the B route, the motion route, is going to beat it. So that's really, and I, I mean, obviously, I could have hit this this streaking or this uh, this dragging tight end multiple times as well. He's always going to be open. So I'm going to do that one more time, like I said, just read in front to back. That's why, you know, because I'm under center too, that's one of the reasons why I throw to the running back. I mean, you can see he's wide open in the flat, uh, and you just, it's a guaranteed play. But if you want to hold it for the longer uh, completions, for the, the deeper routes, the tight end routes, which obviously are successful as well, it's really up to you. But I'll take the safe throw. This is a uh, this is a dink and dunk offense, you know what I mean? This is really, it's not really meant to be explosive necessarily. I mean, you can get explosive plays, but it's a ball control offense. It's about controlling the game, controlling the tempo, which is why I'll always take the short routes first if they're there because I know I can make big plays out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Like I said, if you guys want to see the rest, make sure to hit the like button or let me know in the comment section. Maybe I'll put it out on YouTube at a later date. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. I'm shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.